Another important thing you're going to need to know as you begin creating these different objects, whether it be the pencil, the barbell, uh, whatever it is that you go create, you're going to need to know how to copy. Copying in 3ds Max, copying an object is really simple. All you have to do is, first of all, select the Select and Move tool. Make sure you have that selected, the, the cross with the arrows on the ends up at the top. And remember, you're in a 3D environment, so you have a X, Y, and Z axis. What that means is, if I select the Y axis, I'm going to slide my cube along the Y plane. If I select the X axis, I'm going to move the cube on the X axis. And then if I select Z, I'm going to move the cube vertically up and down. So Y, y and X will move it horizontally, where Z will move it uh, vertically. The other thing to remember is you can zoom in and out of your picture of what you're working on by using the roller on your mouse. If you select the roller on your mouse and just roll in and out, you can move around your screen. Another thing you could do is go down to the bottom right of your screen. You'll see where there's a hand and when you hold the cursor over it, it says pan view. When you select that, you can move your uh, everything, your entire scene, anywhere you need it. Believe me, you're going to really find this handy later because a lot of times objects will kind of get lost in your scene and so it becomes real easy to just bring them back to the center of your screen.